On Friday, April 24th, Hiller's baseball took on Westwood. Bottom of the third, Hiller's trailing 4-1. to one. Steve Simos got a rally going. Line up and the pitch, and this is it. High in the air, over to center field. And that ball was crushed. It's going back, back to the wall. And that's gone, a home run for Steven Simos. It's a 4-2 to two ball game. He crushed that ball. I didn't think it would get it, get out as soon as he hit the ball, but kept going, going, going. I think the wind helped a little bit. Might have, but wasn't a cheapie. That's about 360 feet out where that outfielder was. That's the deepest part of the ballpark. So I was pitching yesterday. There's a swing, and that's hitting the gap in right center field. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Galley turns first and comes into second base with a double. Thanks for chipping in on play-by-play, -play, Larry. Well, it got, caught in the middle. it got caught in the middle there. Sorry about that. That'll make it a 4-3 to three game. That was on in set to deal. Gets a piece of this one, hit in the air over to left field. That ball was crushed to the fence. And that is going to be a long base hit there. And a run will score to tie the game. Robbie Paglia, Loca. Go ahead, run is just 90 feet away. Gets a piece of this one up the right side. That's going to get through the gap. And the Hillers take the 5-4 lead as Pagliuca comes around to score. An RBI single for Kester. It was 5-4 heading to the top of the fourth. But Westwood put together an eight-run inning. And they would end up taking the game 15-11. The Hillers had a good response on Monday, April 29th when they took on Millis. It was scoreless heading into the bottom of the first, but it wouldn't stay that way for long. Big games this week for the Hillers as this is hit in the air to right field. It'll fall in. Simos comes around to score. It's an RBI single for Drew Rancatori. 2-0 Hillers. And he gets a piece of this one to center field. It goes way back towards the fence, and that'll drop in. One run is in to score. RBI double. For Connor Kelly, he absolutely tattooed that ball. It ended up being a seven-run inning for the Hillers. Alex Barker Hook added on in the bottom of the second. Set to deliver. And he gets a piece of this one over to center field. It goes. See you later. Home run. Alex Barker Hook goes yard. It's 9-0 Hillers. A two-run homer gave the Hillers a 9-0 lead, despite a bit of a surge in the later innings by Millis. Hopkinton would walk away with the 12-5 win. Alex Barker Hook and Drew Rancatori both contributed a pair of hits, runs, and RBIs as the Hillers improved to 7-2 with the win. Hillers went on to capture a 6-5 road win on Wednesday, May 1st in Medfield and currently stand at eight wins and two losses on the season.